Hi guys, how are you all? I hope you're all having a good time. So I hope you have watched the review of my uh, of the documentary The Girl in the River, which I posted yesterday. And today I'm going to review the documentary American Crime: The Family Next Door. This documentary was directed by Jenny Popiewell, and this tells us the story of Shannon and Chris Watts, who lived in Col Colorado, America. We all aspire to go to USA and you know we all have the American dream where we want to provide the best of all the things to our family and children. And so did Shannon and Chris was thought. Everything was going well in their family but until one day it sh what happened what transpired in their family shook the entire nation and it came on headlines in every news channel. Shannon was an accomplished person who built her home at the age of 25. Everything was going on well for her both professionally and personally. They had two beautiful children, daughters who were who were absolutely you know, the, meant the world to her. Shannon went on a business trip with her friend and she returned and that was the last time anyone saw her. The CCTV footage of her entering her home was seen. So the documentary tells us what happened to Shannon and also her two beautiful kids. Chris was working in oil fields and he had a good equation with both the children as well as his wife. So when Shannon's best friend filed a complaint that she was not able to get hold of Shannon for a, for a longer period of time, the police came and investigated and started interrogating Shannon as well as the neighbors. So what was what revealed over the time during the police interrogation and also in the court, court proceedings shook the entire nation and shattered the views one have on marriage, on relationships. Question, the, you know, the fingers were pointed in several directions, but nobody could imagine that, you know, this is what could have happened. Everybody, be it on social media, be it in the news, everybody had an opinion of their own. And there was also victim shaming which was going on. Both the families of Shannon as well as Chris were hurt and were dragged into this controversy. But nobody could anticipate what happened. So this documentary tells us the story of both Shannon, how their life was, because Shannon had a habit of posting on social media videos about what transpired in her day-to-day -day life, her moments with her kids, as well as moments with Chris. Yes. This documentary also gives us uh, the recordings of Shannon as well as her texts with her friends with Chris and also her equation with Chris family and also her equation with her own family. The documentary takes us both to the past and the present. So the timelines are entirely different but the documentary was taken very well and it gives us an idea about what transpires between the four walls or four walls of a family. So I would definitely recommend everyone to watch it, it because it also throws a light on what exactly the institution of marriage is, marriage is and how a marriage can break or make depending on one or both the partners. Uh, when this documentary was released, it was, it was watched by more than 50 million people across America and across the world. So uh, not only because it's popular, but also the subject which it deals and also the sensitive matter which it uh, you know, displays is very heartening and heartbreaking. So do watch this documentary. It's available on Netflix and I'll share the details of the documentary in the description below. And most importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and click on the bell icon with your friends. And I'll be posting more reviews on documentaries and book reviews. So do catch me uh, for more recommendations. Have a great time, guys. Bye.